We have to burnish the pivots on all our pinions, on all our arbors, and um, we use a burnishing tool for that. Um, in order to gauge how much burnishing we have to do, we first of all just try the jewel on the pivot, like so. And I can tell that that jewel is just a very snug fit at the moment, and we want to get a bit of um, movement in that jewel hole in order to prevent binding. So we have to uh, burnish the pivots and uh, in order to do that we need to fit this lathe carrier which is just a scrap piece of metal with a hole drilled in it and we just push this onto the arbour. like so and that will just enable the um, um, pinion to rotate with the carrier. So we use this tool here which is uh, called a pivot fix it's a, a very good solid rigid tool and is really designed for individual pivot work um, it's not really set up for sort of mass production as it were but this obviously suits our nature because of the small volume of pieces we make per year. So um, we have this simple grinding wheel here, um, a pulley which turns it, and then we have an end here to support the opposite end of the pinion that's not been ground. And um, once you get used to it, it's fairly straightforward, but it can require quite a bit of setting up we basically drop the pivot into the groove of the required diameter make sure that this pin is against the carrier there and um, we can adjust the height of this gauge here and simply just turn away and you can feel the pivot being ground beneath the uh, rotating uh, wheel and that will hopefully just be enough to grind the surface or to burnish the surface so that the um, jewel will fit freely onto, onto it. And that's fine, I can just rock the jewel now on its arbor. And what I'm looking for is about five degrees movement um, of the um, arbor past the vertical. And if I have that in the full 360 degrees, then I know that that pivot will be nice and free um, in its uh, jewel hole not present any future binding issues. So now what we have to do is uh, rivet the wheel onto the pinion and um, we just simply do it using this staking tool and um, this is a wheel for one of the Daniels and it's just been finished with a very simple and yet elegant grained, radially grained surface and um, we drop it onto the pinion and then we just have to seat it. So we just protect the graining, the surface finish, finish with a piece of tissue and then push it down on its seat and then just give it a little tap and turning it while we do that just to make sure that it's properly seated. So we can just give a quick visual check 
to make sure that it's properly seated. And then we're ready for the final rivet. So we just choose a smaller punch. And give it a swift strike. Again, just turning the wheel slightly. And then just finally inspecting the rivet just to make sure that it's been rubbed over properly and um, that all's well with the wheel.